Hey guys, Dustin Skidoo Junkie uh, back again with another video on the uh, Vintage Skidoo Spotlight. So today I wanted to talk about the 9596 Skidoo Mach 1s. So you know if you think back to where how it all started, where it all began with the 89 Mach 1, uh, 580 ray valve motor, first ray valve motor, um, first Skidoo, made good power, uh, they had a few issues, the 89s did, they, they chewed up high facts quite a bit and, and had some clutching issues and maybe some carburation issues too if I remember correctly. There was just, there was a lot of update bulletins that came out on those sleds and you know, throughout the course of time, so could you kind of sorted that out? Um, 90 was a better year. Uh, 91, we saw the new styling in the PRS chassis and then also the introduction of the 617 in the Mach 1. Uh, same motor between the Mach 1 and the, and the Racers Edition Mach 1X. 92 Mach 1Xs was a little bit different variation again. Um, the 92 Consumer Edition was the 617. And then go back to some of the Xs in 92. They were, they were all brought back to the dealers. And then uh, they were given the 93 updates. So in 1993, Skidoo introduced a 670 Twin. Um, make great power, great torque. It was incredibly reliable. Um, Skidoo stuck with that motor for 93, 94, and then into 95, they moved the Mach 1 from the PRS chassis into the F2000 chassis. This was a chassis that was brought out in 93 with the 93 MXZ and the 93 Mach Z. Um, it evolved in 94 to a few other models. And then in 95, we saw the Mach 1 come out in this chassis. Uh, some big changes for the Mach 1 in 95. Uh, you had 44 millimeter carbs, factory twin pipes. This was actually the last sled. So it would have been the 96 Mach 1 would have been the last sled that Skidoo ever produced with factory twin pipes. Um, had, uh, oh my God, I remember... The compression ratio was a little bit different on the Mach 1, a little bit higher compression ratio. And if you were, if it was below zero, uh, you weren't starting your sled. <laughs> if you had one of these and it was below zero and you had the stock recoil on it and you went to pull it, you were dislocating your shoulder every time. But uh, so, you know, we sold a lot of these at the dealership back in the day and I think every single one of them came back and we put the updated uh, larger recoil on it to kind of help with a little gear reduction. But uh, really cool sleds, once again, hydraulic, uh, disc brake. This was the, the um, would have been the first year for Skidoo with Brembo on that, and then it had the C7 improved rear suspension, and then also would have been uh, the second year for the steel steel ladder skis. Uh, they made this sled in, in '95, and then in '96. After that, Skidoo was kind of evolving into the triple cylinder segment, and uh, that kind of took over. So th this would have been the last high horsepower twin with factory twin pipes that Skidoo ever made. One of my favorite sleds. My dad bought one new. I remember the day he got it. I was just oohing and on over it. And this sled actually found me. I, I got a uh, got a phone call from a guy. I believe he was South Dakota. He was on the east side of South Dakota one day. He said, you know, he said, I see what you're doing with these sleds. I know you're into this era of sleds. And he said, my sled's very near and dear to me. I bought it new. I've loved it. I've raced it. Um, I've trail rode it. He would literally, he would trail ride it during the week and he'd bring it back into his garage, re-clutch it, re-jet it, re-stud it every weekend to go out and, and do some type of drag racing on the lake. Um, he loved it. It shows. And he, he kind of told me, he's like, hey, you know, I, I really want you to have this sled. And we, he wouldn't even really talk price with me. He's like, just, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Come out, take a look at it. You and I will get together on price. I, you know, don't worry about that. So, so I did. I made the trip out there, and it was everything he said it was, and then some. And and I've ridden this sled a little bit on some vintage rides, and it turns a lot of heads. It sounds really cool with the factory twin pipes, but uh, one of my favorites. Wanted to take a couple minutes to review it with you. Hope you guys enjoy, and keep coming back for more. Thanks.